Hello YouTube, this is Netimus1, and I'm here with a GEC tutorial for lip syncing and um, voice acting. So I'll start right off the bat. Um, you're going to need two things. You're going to need an NPC and a quest. NPC is just how the quest, what, what the quest works through. Um, for dialogues, you always need a quest. So for this, this is one of my other mods, companion mods, and this is my whole quest. Choose something like a greeting. All right, now um, you need two things to do the audio. You have to have the recording, and then you need a file. So what we have here is we have our uh, New Vegas data folder and our Skyrim data folder. Gonna go into sound on both of those voice voice. Now processing right here you're gonna copy and you're gonna paste it in here. I already have it so it won't give you this thing if you don't have it. Um, sure do that. Um, then you can close both of them. If you do not have Skyrim you're gonna have to find another way to get that file and also um, if you don't put that file in there you won't get your voice your uh, lip syncing and um, there's probably something else I need to tell you, but I'll probably uh, come up on it later. Um, okay, so you have to click on one of these topics, create a prompt. Uh, this is your dialog box. Uh, when you record, you will get a, wa a WAV and a LIP. This is done by Phonics Data CDF, which is inside of uh, processing, inside of sound, inside of your data folder. Uh, that's what you just did. Um, the WAV is what happens when you record stuff like this, which is really basic. I honestly cannot care what I'm doing here because I we are not. I'm not going to use this. So, anyways, I can record preview it like, like this, this, which is really basic. I honestly cannot care. What, doesn't matter. Okay, so you're going to record it and it's gonna get recorded. You can preview it like I just did, and then if you like it, you save it. If you save it, it makes the WAV file and it makes the lip file. That's what you want. All right, now, um, let's see. You get those two, you save it, and now you have your lips, your lips moving and you have your audio. So that's your two main things that you want. You can close that, close this. Um, inside these two, you go back to sound and voice and processing. Um, right, so if you don't have Skyrim, you're gonna have to find to get it some other way. And also you wanna make sure you have it inside of the processing folder, otherwise the GEC will not be able to find it. Um, this is placed here by the creation kit, which I believe comes with data Skyrim, or uh, the, the Skyrim game itself if you buy it on PC. Um, if not, you can always download Creation Kit from uh, the Bethesda website. So that should not be an issue. All right, so you have, we have our voice and we have all that stuff. And so now I would close this and I would start Fallout. Okay, so here we are in game. This is my companion here. He's kind of walking around. He's doing the sandbox AI. Um, Yes, so he's probably gonna make his way over here and sit down, probably somewhere. I have a feeling he'd do that. Well, simply put, we're just gonna sit down and have a nice little chat with him. And I sit down on the wrong one. Gosh darn it. That's, life is hard, you know? All right, here we go. So this is Pierce, which is the companion that I released a couple weeks, or no, it was about a week ago. Um, and he was voiced by my brother, and we did it with the same microphone I'm using right now. Um, so we did custom hellos, goodbyes, custom story, all that stuff. Every, pretty much everything except for quest. So let's see what he looks like. Hey, I'm Pierce. Okay, so what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to bring up the game audio because... Audio, come on. We want to be able to hear him, so let's see how loud he is now. Now that I just about doubled his voice. Okay, hi, I'm Nedimus. Good to meet you. What can I do for you? There we go, it's a little bit better. Um, so what's your story? Depends who's asking. Uh, speech 25, just retired courier from the Mojave Express. 
All right. Well, what do you want to know? Uh, where are you from? Shady Sands, back in California. You have any family back there? Not anymore. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. My father was an NCR officer. On one of his leaves, a Legion sniper assassinated my mother. My father was spared. He died soon after as a broken man. I was a recruit at the time. He knew the risks of being high up in the NCR. He was a dedicated patriot. I've been shooting for the NCR ever since. Okay, so that right there is a simple example. There's, a, there's about 70 lines of dialogue at this point. Um, so the significance of this is that we voiced all this. He was using the microphone incredibly close to himself, so... If you heard anything that I heard, then um, that means that you just, that you heard all the punctuation from his speaking. So I mean, where are you from? Shady Sands, back in California. Do you have any family back there? Not anymore. One of these things. Don't be. My father was an See, NCR officer. Be. On one of his leaves, he, he a Legion sniper assassinated then, my um, mother. My father was spared. Picks that up. So. Um, he died soon after as a broken man. I was a recruit at the... Come on. There we go. Um, essentially, when air passes by the mic, it'll pick it up because it's a really high fidelity mic, so it picks up a lot. Um, so that's kind of one of the downsides of having a great mic. So that's why having a recording studio sounds great. And of course, if you haven't noticed, as you're listening to me right now, you can probably hear some of the background noise from my computer down here. So... Um, because that thing's the fans will be running. So essentially, if you really want a really, really good audio, you know, something straight from, you know, the, uh, the, you know, from the game, something that well, you're going to have to get, like, a recording studio and recording mics and stuff. And this is a recording mic, but I don't have a studio, and frankly, I don't sound like, you know, I don't know, Frank Snatcher or whatever on the audio. So, um, significance with all of that is that you essentially control what it's going to sound like so if you want it to sound really good then keep it about a foot away from you that's no my recommended distance because it sounds the best from there and it doesn't catch all the audio unless of course you're like blowing air like a whistle at it and you probably won't be doing that unless of course you're whistling for the uh npc i guess um so just be careful about your audio and of course you can listen to it like i showed you earlier um, there's a more complicated way of doing it, but it lets you edit it. But if I would recommend, you should... Um, so first of all, when you record, it'll name the WAV files according to what they are. And if you make the topic names anything that makes sense, you know, that corresponds with what the actual dialogue is, you'll be able to find it and identify it pretty well within the mod files. Um, so you can go in there and um, use Audacity or whatever to... Um, record it on your own or edit it on your own is a better way to put it um so essentially i would recommend if you want to do editing to your audio like i don't know maybe tone it down so it doesn't sound like high end you know like well not high end but you know the pitch is higher because i'm younger than a 40 year old um so essentially if you wanted to pitch it down or make it a little bit louder a little bit quieter yada 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 you would want to go into Audacity, but I would recommend that you do the voicing and lip syncing through uh, the GEC first, because unless you're going to be editing the um, like the beginning and ends of a clip, which is what you heard in between his Shady Sands, back in California. I'll show you. It's right here. No, anymore. Sorry to hear that. Don't be. My so father was an NCR officer. On one of, of his leaves, in a Legion sniper assassinated my mother. My father was spared. He died soon that after as right a broken there. man. Okay. So the significant significance of that is the fact that when you hit the record button, nor normally people take like a breath and then talk, or like there'll be a slight break before they talk. And then of course after they finish talking, there's always a slight break before they click click it to end. So the thing is, you can edit that through Audacity, or you can just be like a trigger finger when it comes to your, you know, your uh, mouse when you're clicking those things so essentially the faster you click it on and talk and, and then click it off right after you finish talking the more it'll it'll flow a lot more smoothly so if you want it to be one of those you know top-notch you know 
really perfect then I would definitely do that but you know if you're just doing this for an experiment then don't worry about it really um, so that's just about all okay and of course I would recommend that you do a custom um, dialogue so you know give him his own voice and you know voice the things like bye because later it the get could go and find some other random person to say bye for him in which is suddenly his voice changes and of course the person who's playing the mod or whatever is thinking to himself okay this is really strange um so other than that you just want to make sure that he has his own custom voice because if not that um would suck that was a motorcycle while it's out of my house um and yeah just make sure that he has his own stuff and that he doesn't end up making some other person's voice through the gek so other than that that just about wraps up my audio tutorial um so have fun lip syncing and voice acting and all that and wish you the best if you guys run into any issues or anything just leave me a comment i'll see what i can do to figure out why that's happening um other than that um best of luck and i will talk to you guys later in my next tutorial so have a good one like and subscribe and i will hopefully post a video soon all right bye bye